What's happening, Frag fam? Max Forte back with another video. As you saw from the title, this is all about Swiss Arabian today. Sure, you've seen some occasional uh, review on some of these fragrances on YouTube, but not really a deserving spotlight on the house, which is why I'm here today. I really wanted to shed some light and highlight this uh, fragrance brand, which I think is deserving of praise. Um, you know, when it comes to quality, when it comes to the scents themselves, and also the value that you get with these fragrances. I've been having experiences with different fragrances from this house for the past six months, and I've compiled a list of my top five that I wanted to uh, share with you today. Now, as I always like to do, just a quick rundown and background on the house of Swiss Arabian. Now, this particular brand started in 1974 in Dubai, and you know, with their humble beginnings, they became a juggernaut when it came to the Arabian market. Now, Swiss Arabian has become a multinational juggernaut. They have partnered with Givaudan, which a lot of you are familiar with. It's a manufacturer that provides a tremendous amount and most sought after compounds, fragrant compounds that is, to your top shelf, most known fragrances worldwide. What I've come to experience with all the fragrances that I've tried, and I've tried over 20 different offerings, it's pretty much a perfect balance of oriental intrigue meets occidental sensuality. So here's the first one that's one of my very favorites. This one here is Nawaf, uh, which is a very dark um, tobacco oud kind of scent. If you like tobacco oud from Tom Ford, you will love this fragrance. It's a heavy bottle, metal cap and bottle. The sprays in these are great, really cool mist. And again, if you like Private Blend Tom Ford, you'll love this heavy tobacco and oud scent. It has almost like a honey facet. Think about a really deep and natural, you know, heavy cigar kind of a chord here. The tobacco is so realistic. The oud here is not going to be very medicinal or pungent, but it is of this strong variety. So definitely great quality here, a fragrance that's going to project. By the way, all of these fragrances are extremely great performers. They last 12 plus hours on my skin. You guys know how I like to spray my clothes. I got, my clothes were smelling like the fragrances that I tried the very next day. So beast mode and projection for all these fragrances. One or two sprays max, you don't have to go crazy. If you love a tobacco scent, Nawaf is a great value for your buck. You know, a phenomenal fragrance that performs and smells fantastic. Just a great tobacco oud scent. Now before I continue, I just want to apologize if there's any Arabs, any Middle Easterns or, you know, People watching this video that speak Arab, I apologize. It's not a language that I have any kind of uh, experience with, so I may butcher some of these names, so please forgive me. Now, the second one here is definitely my wife's favorite. I absolutely love to, when she wears this fragrance, just smells fantastic. But I actually tried this fragrance a few times, and I gotta tell you, a guy can pull this off, but it does lean more on a feminine side. This is a fantastic, creamy, patchouli kind of scent with a floral, fruity nuance. This one has passion fruit. It's very exotic scent. It has black currant. The floral notes of peony, jasmine, and rose. Just a very beautiful scent. Again, I think this is sensuality in a bottle for a lady. Um, again, a guy can pull this off, but it's definitely more feminine. But the fruity nuances that you get in the introduction here, the passion fruit, it's very tropical and exotic. Then it gets very sensual, almost gourmand-like. It does have vanilla as well. Just a amazing scent. Uh, if this particular scent was bottled by a you know niche company out there, it would easily fetch 200 plus. If you like Delina from Parfums Molly, this one here is just an amazing fragrance through and through. The third fragrance that I like to bring to your attention today is called Shaghaf. This is a golden bottle. It, very, it bears similarities with a very known fragrance in the fragrance community, 24 Gold from Scent Story. It does bear similarities with that fragrance as well, in the sense that it is a rose and oud kind of scent. It has that fruity nuance, almost raspberry liqueur kind of a, kind of an essence. It's very boozy in the beginning, and then it dries down to this beautiful vanilla, rose, and oud combo. The, the oud here is just fantastic. Um, a stellar fragrance. Just, just think about 24 gold on steroids. That's what this fragrance is. Tremendous value. Lasts for days. This is something that I would caution you to wear in a really hot weather, unless you have that kind of personality because this thing here is an atomic mode. Forget about beast mode. This fragrance also has a very strong saffron uh, accord here, which gives it a very leathery, suede, smooth, leathery kind of nuance. Just a stellar scent, one of my favorites from the brand, from what I've tried so far. Now, Shaghaf Oud, the golden bottle I just showed you, has a counterpart to that, to that fragrance, which is Oud Abiyad, which is a white, you know, pearl white bottle with a silver cap. Now, this fragrance here, 
I'm gonna tell you some of the notes, and if you're a fragrant aficionado like myself, you'll know exactly what this smells like. It has oregano up top, it has amber, it has myrrh, frankincense. Does it sound familiar to you? Because it is. This here is a very similar fragrance to Interlude Man, the Blue Bees from Amouage, except for this one here is a little more wearable than Interlude. A lot of people think that fragrance is a little too strong, a little too uh, hatty and sultry. This one here is amazing, it's going to project and last forever. However, it's not as pungent and strong as Interlude Man, so it's another fragrance that I love because it's more wearable. I can actually wear this all year long and it's gonna it's going to last all day long for you. So Uda Biad, again, a great alternative to Interlude Man if you don't want to cough up a couple hundred dollars for a bottle. Try this one, it's gonna last and it's gonna give you the same kind of facets and resemblance with the scent um, character as in the Lude Man from Amouage. You guys know if you follow this channel that I have a tendency to leave the best for last. No different here. This is definitely the one that got the most wearance from me. I wore this to the office. This is a boss CEO type scent. If you follow my taste, you know how much I love vetiver. Uh, and if it's done right, it's just a fragrance that I cannot resist. This one here is called Mura Maez. This is a perfect alternative if you love M7 from Yves Saint Laurent, which has been discontinued for a while now and it's fetching two to three hundred dollars a bottle. This one here is very similar, I'd say 75 to 80 percent to M7 and then add some of the differences that you get with this uh, particular fragrance that goes into a different direction. But all in all it's about 75 to 80 percent M7 from Yves Saint Laurent. Just a fantastic exotic scent, like I said CEO boss type of scent. A sense that's gonna make a statement. When you wear this fragrance and you walk into a room, people are going to notice you and you're going to definitely turn heads. This is a head turner of a fragrance, a very masculine, seductive, and bossy kind of scent. Just amazing. It starts off with this orange and pine needle kind of note, then it dives into a vetiver oud cashmere wood. Um, just amazing. I have not smelled anything like this fragrance. The only thing that I can think of that it smells similar to is M7 from Yves Saint Laurent. Then it goes into a different direction, but always keeping that resemblance with M7. Of course, the oud here is amazing. It's very soft, but also strong. I got about 12 hours with this fragrance. This is no joke. Mura Maez from Swiss Arabian is definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite as of right now from everything that I've tried. So the bottom line with this Meet the House of Swiss Arabian that I wanted to share with you is that these are very well balanced and composed fragrances. And the fragrance house has been around for 44 years, which means they have to be doing something right. There's a lot of Arabic brands that have been selling pretty strong here in the US. So I truly believe that Swiss Arabian deserved some more limelight especially because we love quality, we love value, and this is a company that has tradition. So for those three aspects, I think it's definitely one that you should try. I don't think you're gonna disappoint. They are very reasonably priced when compared to top shelf brands, some of which I've actually mentioned to you in this video. I'm gonna have all these five fragrances linked below if you guys wanna check them out. But I'm also gonna do something better for you. I'm gonna give three people a chance to win three brand new bottles from Swiss Arabian. All you have to do is follow the link below, which I'll have in the description box, and it'll tell you exactly what steps you need to take to participate in this giveaway. Good luck to all. And as always, this part of the video, please comment down below. Let me know what your top choices are from Swiss Arabian if you have gotten your noses and tried this brand. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more great content like this one. And also enable notifications so you always stay current fragrant news and great reviews like this. And as always, stay fragrant, keep on spraying, and of course, I got you covered. See you next time.